Welcome to Driving You Home or the radio show, podcast, YouTube extravaganza, where we delve into everything in the queer sphere that you need to hear. So let's get started. News, current events, Ellen DeGeneres. You may have heard of her. She's mildly famous in uh, America uh, slash yeah. the world uh, for having a daytime talk show. And she's come under fire for being a bit of a diva. And sh- people have come out and said that there are people within her organisation that have uh, been maybe not so fantastic in terms of, like, sexual harassment and workplace conditions. Um, and there is... A, I don't know if it's a petition, but there's a lot of backlash and there's a lot of people going, get Ellen out, get someone else in. And a lot of people are saying James Corden. My, what? okay, great, wonderful. We're on a similar page there. Excellent. Uh, because so many people say he's like like a gay eye. Uh-huh. He's a gay no, icon absolutely or something. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I do not know one person yeah. who is like, oh, James Corden, he is the most amazing person. Not one. Yeah. Not one. In my entire life, I have never met anybody who feels that way about James Corden. Right. Everybody I know is like, oh, I just, I don't even know what it is about him. I just cannot stand him. I mean, to be fair, he did have to move to America to get famous. <laughs> So maybe that's maybe that's what it is. he went. Oh, I can't make it in my country. I'm really happy for him that he's yeah. doing so well, and I'm really happy for him that he's found his audience. Absolutely. Yeah. But in terms of, firstly, with this whole eligible generous thing, right? People one don't get that level of fame by not being a bit tough. Yeah. You just don't like. You think Oprah is sweetness and light. Absolutely not. Yeah. If she wants something done, she's going to make sure you do it. That's your job. And sometimes people are just a little bit soft about being told you haven't done your job. Usually people who I'm having to tell that they haven't done their job. <laughs> I mean, if I was hosting that show, it would be like uh, nobody no. would want to come to work. Nobody. Oh. Because... If it's not done exactly how I want it, exactly when I want it, it is a big problem. So, first off, people don't get that famous without being tough. Yeah. Secondly, she isn't responsible for other people sexually harassing people. Mm -hmm. Just as I am not responsible for that happening if I happen to be in the same building or running a corporation, if I am not aware of it. Yes. If there is evidence that she has been aware of this and has done nothing about it, and she's the boss. Yeah. Which actually she's not. Yeah. You know, there's going to be a, a room. Well, she's like the she's the, the face. Men. Yeah. But she's the face, though. So people would assume. Absolutely. But they assume wrong. Just, yeah. you know, just like on any like Lorraine. Yeah. If you Lorraine show Lorraine's not the boss. Lorraine is the host. Lorraine is integral to how it runs. But there are. A hundred other people in the back, pulling the strings, making things happen, making things work, you know? So just like in any avenue of life, just because you're the face of something, it doesn't mean that actually you're in charge of it. So I think the idea that uh, you should get rid of her because other people have done stuff, Mm -hmm. that makes no sense to me. Had it been that she had been sexually harassing people, she different story. Been absolutely fouled people. She'd mm. made people's working conditions hell. Well, all right. Yeah, there's an argument for that. But yeah. I think she's being held up to a much higher standard than uh, maybe her male counterparts. I was would be. exactly. And I was going to say exactly that. Parts would be. Yeah. That, and that's that's where the the problem is for me. Just because she's lesbian and she's a woman doesn't yeah. mean that she has to be nice, nice, nice. Yeah. You know, I, I spoke a bit about this this week. Um, uh, like we have politicians who, because they're polite, it well, they're nice. Yeah. Well, no, Jacob rees is not nice. He has actively worked against the rights of immigrants, of refugees, yeah. of gay people. He's polite, but he is most certainly not a nice person. Mm-hmm. So... Actually, this politics of 
politeness. Well, she was nice about it. No, fuck that. Sometimes you have to just, sorry. That's no, okay. Like, <laughs> no, absolutely not. Sometimes you just have to call a spade a spade. Yeah. This is how it is. You are not a good person. And that's fine. You know, I yeah. don't have a problem with that. Yeah. So I know they, I, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. I think you hit the nail on the head when you said, <laughs> when you said um, that there is that a heightened sense of like, because she's um, in the LGBT community and because she's a woman, she's set to a higher level of standard or expectation. Yeah. And so the, the fall is going to be greater. Um, but then also, I guess there are some people that would say that like, she's her... Maybe she is a bit of a diva, and like you said, I, you would be the same. I would probably be the same if I got to that kind of level of like, you know, fame and notoriety. But um, there are there are people that have gone when she's sent out her sort of statement, I guess, um, on social media to go like, oh, like it, it was very like safe. It was very like it didn't seem like there was any heart to it or any of Ellen. It seemed like it was like. A press release essentially and people were like oh she could have done more or like we're waiting to actually hear her voice and um it's going to be interesting i think to see where yeah i just no. I, I think it's one of those you know this is an easy way of getting rid of a really prominent gay person yeah fully agree a, a really easy way of trying to get rid of them but if they do get rid <laughs> if they decide to get rid of her and i'm ready it, i'm ready yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> and then they'll find out what bad working conditions are. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Don't worry about James Corden to be in a campo for the for the morning. Oh, it was bad before. You've seen nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, could you imagine you just coming on stage dancing to like the newest track? You're like, oh look at me, I'm Davina DeCampo. No, no, no. Oh jeez. I have to come into 